Hey, doing this have the conversation. If you want to make the world a better, happier, healthier place for the youth, then watch this channel. I like to take pop culture topics, social things, and daily life, and put them in a perspective that it make the world better for the youth when they grow up. And today, I want to talk about Galu, Diana, Talia, Taylor, Tasia, and Anna. Who do those guys have in common? And it's Tua Tonga Viola's family. His father, mother, siblings, and his wife. Why am I talking about Tua right now? Tua just suffered his second concussion in one week. That, just as a person who wants to make the world better for future generations, is kind of upsetting right now. The reason why it's upsetting is because I'm looking at Tua as a person with a family. And too many times, in my opinion, I think that Tua is looked at as a quarterback for the Miami Dolphins and a quarterback that came from the Crimson Tide. Tua is first, it's like Mike McDaniel said, who was his head coach, Tua is a person first who has a family. Then he is a football player. Tua isn't just a quarterback. He's a man with a family, and he had two head injuries in one week. The first one came against the Dolphins, where, according to what I read on the internet a little bit ago, he got up, stumbled around, and shook his head like this to make sure his eyes were focused. Okay. He came back and finished the game. He's a tough, he's a tough guy. However, the quality of life right there. He has a family. Why did we allow him to play? I don't care if he said he felt good. Why did we allow him to play in the game? Why did we allow him to play four days later against the Bengals? Why? It doesn't make any sense. Because you got to think. Of course, cities want a great sports team. Of course, cities want something to cheer for. However, at the same time, <clears throat> the city needs or the human being needs to be available to themselves first. If, that, if, if a human being is not available to themselves, you ever, I know you've heard the saying, if you don't take care of yourself, how can you take care of others? That's the thing right there. Tua can't take care of himself. If it, let me rephrase that. If Tua can't take care of himself, if Tua can't do the basic things in life as a human being, how can he be a good quarterback to the Miami Dolphins? How can he be a good husband to his wife? How can he be a good sibling? How can he be a good brother to a sibling? How can he be a good son to his parents? I'm blaming the head coach, I'm blaming the Miami Dolphins, and I'm blaming the front office. I'm also blaming those doctors. Yes, cities want a good sports team, but at the same time, the people who play for the sports team need to be uh, able individuals to be able to play a game. They played him way too early. Way too early. In life, what cost are you willing to pay to have the best product around? What cost? It takes a person to get the product in order to, it, it takes people to get that product. Do not make unnecessary sacrifices. In this case, the unnecessary sacrifice was two playing a game four days later and getting a second concussion that he when he already had his first one on Sunday. He got the first one on Sunday against the Bills, and he got the second one against the Dolphins. <clears throat> and if you saw the video, his fingers were doing all fingers were contorted, which is a sign of a, of a traumatic brain injury. And that just it just makes me angry. I mean, it's nothing wrong with one that is nothing wrong with wanting to do what you love. But at the same time, you have to take care of you first. Because if you don't take care of you first, you're not going to be able to give your skills to anybody. You're not going to be able to give your full attention to anything. Take care of yourself first. <clears throat> that is the best thing to be selfish about. 
if you're going to be selfish in life, take care of you first, then help everybody else, or help who you can. The Miami Dolphins, the doctors, the team, the front office, the coach, Tua, he should not have played against the Bengals. People in the world, if you don't listen to nothing else I say in my videos, take care of yourself first in order to be able to be the best you you can be for everyone else. Love you guys.